that's going in today. All right, in the shop with these dudes today, especially that guy. <laughs> We're putting the diff in. Finally got the diff seals, so this thing's got poly mounts now, all ready to go back in, welded. So braced it here. Kami Auto actually sells a kit that you can bolt through, but we ended up just welding on two, two plates all the way around. So I'm gonna hopefully get this in today. So the reason you brace this is Miatas actually have a breakaway point built into the dip here. So high horsepower, maybe not even really high horsepower cars snap the diff right here. So that's a big no-no on this car. So we got the diff in, we just got to click the axles into place right here and uh, yeah she'll be all ready to go and we can get the drive shaft on once we get the transmission in. You ready for this special procedure? This here brace, which is really nice for rigidity, you need these little tiny mounting right holes here. in the front body. So if your Miata didn't come with them as an NA8 and you get a brace like that, use this. So as I said earlier, um, you have to get rid of your power plant frame when you do this swap. And the power plant frame actually mounts to right here. And in order to mount your diff now without just having these two mounting spots, you have to buy this brace from K Miata. Does not come with the kit don't know why but yeah if you want to do this swap you have to get that bit pretty much or make your own all right so don't make the mistake that we did and put the diff up without putting these bolts in first so these bolts actually go up here they go through these holes right here and they go from the top down so as you can see cannot get those in with the diff in so we're going to drop that back down real quick. Alright guys, so the last video you saw was uh, us trying to mount the diff brace up in the car in his uh, Jacob's Miata. It's supposed to be a 15 30 minute install which turned into a headache i'll show you that when we get to his shop that's where i'm going right now let me show you something real quick this is my brother's car actually it used to be my car it's a 96 camry now you might be thinking why am i showing you a 96 camry well i'll go into it in another video but for right now let me just show you a little preview of why i'm why i'm telling you So just left Best Buy um, 50 bucks later and uh, now I can charge my batteries. Alright guys, so uh, pulling up to the shop right now. Let me uh, go inside and I'll show you why that diff brace was such a headache. Alright, so I'm going to give this to Jacob and let him tell you why this was being such a pain yesterday. Well first off, it's actually really solid. Not gonna knock that that is nice 
big upgrade. Rock hard. But I don't know if you can see up there. They give you two supplied bolts. The longer one is a through bolt that you go in from the bottom, nut goes on top. And then this one comes down, bolts actually to the new mount. And it's too long. I don't know if you can get in there and see, but right here on this bracket for the mount, the bolt hits. So we actually had to cut it a little bit. I don't know if it was a problem by sending the wrong bolt or if it was our problem. I'm not sure. I don't know. And then another issue we ran into also could be my subframe or something else. This hole doesn't really line up too well with the bolt. So getting a socket in there to tighten it is a nightmare. So yeah, but everything else works pretty good now. All right, so we got the diff in its final resting place. We're done with this. So got it all mounted up, racing's all good. So it's probably gonna be a stopping point on this diff video. We're gonna do a transmission install next. We're just waiting on a shift fork and a spring and a little pivot ball but that should be here in the next couple days. So I'm gonna end it here. See you in the next one.